Hello, this is Kevin with 3G Store, and today we're going to take a look at some advanced ping settings of the 2-outlet IP switch. Right out of the box, the 2-outlet IP switch can have the automatic reset feature enabled, and no other setup is required if you want to reboot a modem and router. However, if you want to control the modem and router separately, there is some advanced setup that you can do. Specifically, we're going to be rebooting a modem independently of a router and only rebooting the router if it is required, so your setup looks like what we have above. Outlet 1 of the switch will be your power source for the modem, and outlet 2 is the power for the router. At this point, you'll need to install the utility application on a Windows PC. If you've not already done that, the links are in the description below. And if you're not on a Windows PC, there are links in the article below to help you find the IP address of your router. With the utility open and running, it will automatically search and find the IP switch. You'll select it and launch the web user interface. The default password is blank and the username is admin. Once that is in, you'll be able to log into the IP switch. Once you are logged into the outlet, you'll see a few different things. First is the connection status window. This is all of the ping targets that the two outlet switch is looking to. And second is the status and control section. This tells you if the automatic reset feature is on or off, as well as if outlets are on or off. We're going to head over to the configuration tab and make a few changes. First, you'll see the assign section. Right now it is set for the top four ping targets to reset both outlets if those sites become unaccessible. We're going to switch that over to outlet one or the same outlet that your modem is plugged into. You'll notice that the bottom section then switches to outlet two and the ping target is the local address of the router on your network. What this means is if any of the four ping targets on top fail, just outlet one or the modem will be resetting itself. Outlet 2 will not reset unless it locks up or your router freezes. This means that if your modem or your internet connection is restarting, you still have access to your local network for things like file and printer sharing. In the Outlet 2 section, make sure that is the LAN address of your router, which it should be automatically, and click the Enable button. After that, you're going to hit Apply, and the switch will tell you the settings are saved. You'll be back then to the current status tab and you can see your changes that have been made. The response times will show different millisecond responses for each website it's pinging as well as a fast response time from your local router. At this point all you have to do is enable the UIS or auto reset feature and you are ready to go. For more videos like this be sure to subscribe to our channel and for more information on the IP switches head to 3gstore.com slash IP switch. Thank you.